What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Gmaya's World. And at this point right now, you guys are all eligible to get 100K free from EA Sports. Now, all you have to do is win 10 games in Weekend League. For those of you guys that are new to the channel, I know Weekend League can be like the depths of hell, but most of us are able to get at least 10. Some of you guys came here winning only two to three. After watching the video, seeing certain blitzes and things like that, you guys have been able to at least average around 10. So I'm pretty sure that many of you guys have already uh, received your free um, 100K. So pretty much after you win seven games, they give you 50, and then the next 50 comes after you win 10. So I'm going to go ahead and break it down for you guys just to make sure everybody's on the same page. Then we're going to go take a look at the squad and give you guys the team updates that some of you guys have been requesting. So pretty much this is something new from ea sports where they offer you um you know the way to get uh you know free coins while we're going through this uh time in the history of our country and world uh if you guys are outside of the united states of america you guys are also experiencing what's going on they're giving you guys different opportunities to stay you know engage with the game and offer you guys free stuff now with these two right here um, okay, so you have to win five. I thought it was seven. Okay, so seven is for head-to-head -head squads and solo battles. It's five for weekend league uh, for the first 50, and then the next five, you're going to get 50K again. So you're going to get 100K from just playing 10 weekend league games and winning them. All right? You guys should be able to do that because, number one, weekend league is open, and most of you guys have way more talent than you think you guys have. And a lot of these dudes outside of us are straight trash can status. If it comes down to it, just run Oakland's playbook and run the ball every snap the way I showed you guys uh, earlier in the year. You know, running any kind of stretch. Just do whatever you want. Make your opponent rage uncontrollably and everything should work out pretty well for you. So here goes the other 50K right here uh, that we received. Um, the objective reward. So I saved both of them so that I would be able to show you guys exactly what was going on with it. So at this point right now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make our 100K and, you know, we're going to go ahead and start doing some team update things and what we should actually be getting done right now as we're, as far as where we stand. What is this? We can't use this again, right? Uh, we'll just get 10,000 coins. Uh, pretty much what happened with that, that Conqueror coin, just so you guys understand, if you go back and do some of the challenges, the older ones, you can still go and get those things, uh, those collectibles that, you know, previously we used for the DK Metcalf. You can still get some collectibles from doing the uh, challenges. And then right now, all of them have quick sell value. So that's another way to make some coins. Now we're going to go over the actual Mutt Squad. Some of you guys have been asking certain details about it. Obviously, I've been changing my team up regularly, trying to figure out what the right chemistry is for the squad. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at a couple details. Number one, Aaron Rodgers is still here. And like I pointed out to you guys before, I know Tom Brady looks fun. I know it's like exciting. I understand all that. But the problem is you're going to get done dirty. All right. And um, what happens is it's all fun in games with the protected. And, you know, you can stand in the pocket and you think it's sweet. But when you play a guy like me or another psycho that's going to be sending everybody, even with protected, you won't have any protection. Dude just screaming. It's wild. You're going to get, yo, it's going to be really, really bad. So I don't care who the quarterback is. Just make sure that that quarterback can get escape artists. You don't have to have a guy that can't throw the ball, um, you know, that doesn't have the 99 throw power. For instance, Aaron Rodgers has the 99 throw power, right? And he also gets an 85 speed. But with escape artists, he gets that burst that makes it seem like it's way faster uh, than 85 speed. And because of that mobility, and for whatever reason, they feel that they're blitzing everybody and you see a gap. You can shoot it right up the middle. You can run off to the side. So many different things you can do with it. So I would just recommend that um, because I still get those questions. You know, you know, what about this guy? You know, Tom Brady's the GOAT. Yeah, great. That, that's all fine and well, bro. But I'm going to tell you this right now. I've been noticing a lot of crazy blitzes, including uh, the nickel 245 odd, where dudes are running the bench blitz and um, you can't really run the ball under center. You got to go to heavy sets in order to run the ball. And then you have to be able to maneuver in certain cases to get outside the pocket while everybody is blitzing to make plays. You're not going to be able to do that with Tom Brady, unfortunately. So I just want to make sure that you guys understand that. The 85 speed, it looks like it's a joke, but you actually run way, way faster uh, than that detail. So we'll now go over what his abilities are to give you guys some insight into that because I get that regularly also. You know, Gmaya, what abilities do you have on him? Well, pretty much we have the identifier on him. And this is a very, very key thing. And I won a lot of games without it. But if your quarterback can get it, I highly recommend it. It's like one of those subtle things that adds a different dimension to your game. And if you don't have it, you immediately realize you don't. 
this comes in handy a lot because if for instance right say you guys want to go ahead and uh win the weekend league games the way i just suggested and you run oakland uh playbook right come out in strong wing just run the um the rpo stretch and do whatever you want when they start seeing that you're doing that all the time they sometimes line up on the safety the corner and they try to run blitz you know so just run down as soon as you hike the ball if you see that you simply audible to a pass turn it to a play action cancel the play action you know what i'm saying bro like it's you, you bro you can eat crazy with that and a lot of dudes like they get very very um they get annoyed because like for me right if a dude comes out and i already know what he's doing say he comes out he just wants to run you know dive or whatever every snap out of eye tight right and you see that he's doing it and you're not really getting the run stopping that you like you eventually start to get more aggressive you're like, yo, you know what? I'm sending everybody, the head coach, you know, the, the, the general manager, cheerleaders, I'm sending everybody, right? When you see that, the person that he's on, though, is not like a, a person that's, you know, if he's on a safety or somebody that affects the play over the top, it's your job to go ahead and then, you know, audible to a play action play or just a regular pass play. Hike the ball, throw it quickly and get it out of your hands because that's what's going to make you get those wins more often than not because the number one thing about Madden no matter what year it is, it's the most demoralizing thing for somebody to run the ball down your throat. It, 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 bro, it just, like, you could pass for a million yards and he's like, all right, cool, my cornerbacks are garbage. But when you just run the ball and, you, you know, you're picking up 10 yards and 15 and 20, it's so disgustingly demoralizing. So people find different ways to, you know, figure out what's going on. And that's one of the things they do. They jump on their corner. They try to run blitz. They do weird stuff. Identifier, you'll know exactly what that person's doing. We've already gone over escape artists very very important to have just because you get that speed burst i know it's op i know it's wild but guess what it was a lot more op when it first came out ea tuned this so crazy remember when it first came out if you had michael vick you were able to play with michael vick like he was in madden 2004 for those of you guys that played 04 madden uh you could run all the way backwards and then keep the same speed and then run all the way back forward and not lose any fatigue stamina or anything like that now if you run around crazy, the fattest lineman can tackle you in the backfield because EA had to do something about it because it was getting wild and you know everybody was running around just being weird and it was crazy. So they had to do something about it. So it's not the same thing as far as running all the way back and then running forward, but you still get that speed burst behind the line of scrimmage and you can like, you know, pick a gap, run right through it, get a first down and things of that nature. Roaming Deadeye, as long as you let your hand off the turbo, uh, no matter where you're running around, you'll get all the dead eyes in one with roaming dead eyes. So you just have to remember to let go of R2 and you're good to go with roaming dead eye. All right. So that's why we keep that on him in case we have to roll outside the pocket. That is very, very important. And then we just keep bazooka on it just to give it because he has 99 throw power. And let's be honest, after a, like 95, 96, they all throw the ball the same place. Like bazooka's not really getting it out, you know, 15 yards ahead. This one right here became a joke after some of the, um, the initial... Uh, tuning updates and the title updates you could see that the ball was not traveling further uh, as everybody got faster and things changed um, they all pretty much throw the ball the same like if you have 99 throw power even when we had Patrick Mahomes right what happened was we wanted to see because it was a green 99 throw power he's like full crazy throw power so we we're like yo let's see what it is there was no difference Aaron Rodgers and you know Patrick Mahomes throws the ball the same place if you use the same type of uh, throwing motion so it's not a big deal uh, as far as that goes all right so that's that um as far as my wide receivers now we have calvin and we have randy moss and they pretty much have the same exact abilities except for the, the x factor randy moss gets mossed now when you have mossed you are forced to use it on the first play all right it's very very disgusting just remember if you're not more than 55 yards away from the end zone sub somebody else in for that play and bring in Moss later so that way you don't lose it because if he's out there on kick return whatever he's out there on you're going to lose that ability immediately so just make sure I just want to make sure everybody understands that because I've been getting questions about it still but maybe you guys missed the videos where we spoke about it you only get one all right so if you are running around and just doing whatever you want and you think it's cool it's probably not all right you get one chance if you come out and you get the ball, you know, like at the 30 or the 40, you you know, you return a kick and you get all the way up there, you cannot throw it. It won't work unless it's 55 yards out. Then you're going to need streak specialists. All right. That's going to help you catch any streak necessary. Outside apprentice is what I use primarily because now I run wide sets. 
I've, um, you know, removed myself from the West Coast offense. And, uh, you know, I use Oakland. Sometimes I use, uh, what is that? Uh, the Patriots. Sometimes I use the Seahawks. And I prefer to have the outside apprentice as opposed to the slot apprentice that I used when I was running the West Coast offense. All right, so that's why that's there. But you can choose any apprentice that you want, but it's good to have it for what you primarily use so you can create post outs, you know, all those other things that you need to do. Then post flag elite. The reason behind this, the corner and post routes are the most deadliest routes in the game. So because they are deadly, you need this, okay? You need this to be going on because if you throw a post or you throw a you know corner, whatever it is, they are gonna get listen, you're gonna have that much more of an advantage of catching the ball if you as if you didn't have like if you didn't have it, dudes are just gonna drop the ball immediately. It definitely enhances it um, with the way that the guys run the routes. But again, you are sacrificing other other positions to put it on the wide receivers. For me, I need to do that simply because I have to know exactly where my players are gonna be by being able to put them wherever I want them. And also it gives me an advantage on the defense if they just think that, you know, I'm coming out and I'm gonna run a streak every play. I can hit them with a post in a cover two, split the middle, we going for six. Possibly picking their moms up right after, but we're going for six, which is a very, very huge factor with that. So both Randy Moss and Calvin have that. And those are some of the essential things that you need to have, but that's the way that I play. Remember, if you're having problems winning weekend league games, you need to go and equip uh, abilities on your running backs and you need to give them wild stuff now remember Eric Dickerson he gets one of the NFL 100 ones the freight train um, that's very very OP to start the game so if you were gonna use Eric Dickerson I would recommend that other than that you know you can go um, evasive is good uh, outside zone guru is also good um, and that's pretty much you know some of the, like that's the main thing those are the main things if you wanted to go evasive I don't think you get it as a tier one right the um, well he gets he doesn't get evasive as a tier one, nor does he get um, the outside or the inside zone guru. So you would have to, in this case, it's kind of weird with his, that's what I didn't like, because you can, if you get spin cycle and jukebox, uh, evasive is a combination of both, but the first one doesn't really give you anything that you really need. Uh, the second tier, uh, I guess you could go outside zone guru. I, well, it all depends on what you want to do. Um, this is what, this is what it is. Um, you can go and try to put the inside and outside zone guru because some of you guys have been asking about that but i'm not sure if that would be the smartest thing because evasive honestly sometimes you got to spin sometimes you got to juke so i don't want to say in tier one you just pick and choose spin or juke because technically you should have both so that's what makes it kind of difficult and why you can't get both of these but in all honesty you only need one bro and i would go with outside zone guru just to be honest uh it's just it's just the fact that the first one, the first tier is kind of stupid, so then it doesn't make any sense because, like I said, you you have very very minimal uh, things that you can choose from, so it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, but like I said, those are the ones I recommend: outside zone guru, evasive, whatever else you want to put on your running back, that's fine. As far as your O line, I know that there's been rumors that Nasty Streak is back. Dudes are getting pancake. I still would not waste time with it. I would just get the best lineman that you can afford and put them out there and let them play. Like that, that's what I'm thinking about it. If you guys feel that you need to go ahead and try that uh, with Nasty Streak on your lineman, there was a time where it was just straight OP and everybody in the path was getting pancaked. I don't feel that it's that um, necessary at this time. All right. Now, defensively, it's very, very easy. All right. We're going to go, like, I'm going to show you Warren Sapp, Taylor Mays, Pat Tillman. Now, some of you guys are going to say, you know, why wouldn't you put something on Jadavion Clowney to do this OP? Yo, what's going on with you? All right, this is the situation, right? I don't know what is wrong with Warren Sapp, but the dude is a menace, okay? He is a menace, and his numbers look so stupid. Like, when you look at other D tackles, like, you know, Alan Page, for instance, right? You see, like, how he has, like, the 94 tackle and stuff like that, like, other things that make it look like he's, like, really, really good, and, you know... It's like, okay, he's a limited card or whatever, 85 speed, he goes to 88, he looks a little bit more flashy. The 90 tackle is what kind of throws people off because you look at it and you're like, yo, bro, why is this tackle so low? But don't worry about that number being low, bro. Just look at the, yo, this guy will be in the backfield immediately as soon as you hike the ball. So we chose to give him abilities because he makes everybody off the edges that much better so let's take a look at what his abilities are and before we get into it i know the whole thing about you know uh power special oh, what is it power move specialist or something or power specialist that it's a combination of um 
when you look at the faster power move animations during pass rush and it's like quicker pass pass rush moves and block shedding you know you guys are like yo it's a combination whatever like that well this is another situation where when you look at his first tier i don't want to give him reach elite you know what i'm saying like i don't i don't want to give him reach elite because I don't think Reach Elite gives me enough justice. So even though they say that it can't be stacked, this is something that I'm doing, even though I know that it's part of the other ability. It's just something about giving him Power Specialist with the Pass Rush Elite that makes him play like a, a complete monster, all right? Other than that, he doesn't really have anything that's really you know that good that I would think would take place of it, so I just go with that. Whichever way you guys wanna do it, that's fine. Run Stopper is also huge because it, it clogs the middle up on any run play, and then you just have to rely on your um, your outside guys to make a play. We go with out, on, on what is that unstoppable force instead of fearmonger because the chance to pressure the QB while engaged with a blocker pass rush wins lead to quicker block shedding. This right here is a little bit better, but you got to sack the quarterback, so sometimes it's a little bit harder because he just causes disruption. He's not going to sack the quarterback all the time. He just causes mass destruction, bro, all the time. Now you could give him other stuff, um, you know. You know reinforcement all this other foolishness um but again with the way that everything works i would probably stay with unstoppable force just in case you know what i'm saying because the requirements the requirements for it hold on let me see some I, I hate the fact that hold up it usually it usually shows um okay there it goes two sacks so you would need though you would need to get those sacks and then you get the unstoppable force but other ones have stuff where it's like a loss of yards, loss of down, stuff like that. You guys might think that that's easier just to get him activated, but I like unstoppable force on him because when he does get it, it's it's the bro, the game's over. When he when he gets that unstoppable force, what happens is it's not even about the pass. If he once he gets activated with unstoppable force, he sheds two to three guys right away as soon as the ball snapped. So he's coming right in, and then what happens is everybody has to pay attention to him. And usually what your opponent will do is they'll highlight him, you know, ID the mic on him and just try to make sure you maintain him. And then guess what happens? Everybody else is screaming off the outsides. So that's pretty much what goes on with that uh, situation right there. So I would definitely, you know, be very, very cautious with that. But that's what I like uh, out of, um, you know, Warren Sapp with the pass rush elite, power specialist, run stopper. And then everything else, as far as, uh, you know, Taylor Mays and Pat Tillman, the unique thing about Pat Tillman you have to user him because he's one of the slower cards at 97 speed when he's uh you know chemmed up so you have to user him but i would recommend oh he gets another slot bro you yo why didn't anybody tell me about this the dude gets four slots hold on wait a minute is that all gold thing bro i did not even know and none of you guys even told me you get an additional slot dog hold up hold up hold up does this guy get an additional slot because now it's time to get crazy now it's time to get jiggy with it all right no he doesn't get it so only the gold 99s do? It might be all the gold 99s, bruh. Hold on. Because why is Pat Tillman getting it? I did not know. What? Okay, let me see something. What about this guy? Does he get it? Hold on. Yeah, he gets a fourth slot, bruh. Yo. Low key. Okay, bruh. But you got. it looks like you have to be a gold 99 to get that? All right, somebody fill me in in the chat. Because Night Train might have to get his ability. No, we can't do that. Jadavion Clowney. So who was the other guy? So we got Taylor May. Mmm. Yo, that's low key glitchy, bruh. That is low key glitchy. Because this this guy right here. If, what if we gave Alan Page. Okay, no, but Alan Page wouldn't get it, right? Alan Page is not a gold 99. So he wouldn't get it. No, he would not get it, bro. What is going on? Let me just go check the Davion Clowney. Yo, none of you guys told me that. Y'all couldn't let me know. Yo, that's crazy that I'm doing it now. I'm like, hold on, let me just see what's going on. Let me slide this to the let me slide this to the right. Bro, they get four. I did not know that. All right. Okay, cool. So we just discovered something. Well, most of us did. Nobody tweeted me about it. I didn't know what was going on. Maybe it's something new in there, but whatever. But Pat Tillman now is gonna get an additional ability, which is gonna make him even more OP. All right, so look, number one, enforcer and acrobat are very, very essential. Um, lurker, obviously, if you don't have lurker, you're not gonna be able to jump. So you're gonna need that. So the fourth ability slot though, because we user him, um, I don't know. Cause now I got all excited, but I, I don't even know what I could put on him. Secure tackler maybe, uh, out of my way. Dominant impact block wins. The cut sticks with lumberjack. See, cause the name of the game is always trying to get a fumble, but don't we physically have to do that? 
with strip specialists reduce tackle penalty while trying to strip the ball so we could always go for a strip but we usually click off if like sometimes i'll hit stick depending on what the guy's doing because if you play a skilled player they know how to spin move the cpu so you're gonna have to actually keep yourself on the player with this right here i don't think it'll be useful to us because you know if we click off with enforcer dudes is gonna get dudes are gonna have a very very good chance that they're gonna fumble um as far as reach elite we don't care about that I, I'm thinking right now that I would go with Lumberjack because the cut sticks guarantee tackles and add fumble chance. So I, anything that enhances the chance of a fumble, I like that idea. So that kind of makes me, you know, like, yo, we need to, we need to go ahead and get this popping. You know what I'm saying? Like that's kind of lit, but um, reach it doesn't really matter. Tackle while engage with blockers. We don't care about that. Yeah, I, I think I think for us, I think we probably should go with cut stick, but then that doesn't really add much though, right? You guys probably like, yeah, that doesn't really do much. Secure tackler. Um hold up. Cut sticks guarantee ta guarantee tackles and add maybe maybe make it so that he can't he he always like tackle supreme. And then so that way he always as a user, we give him Tackle Supreme. I think that might be better for us. But Lumberjack is looking kind of mean, though. Tackle Supreme low-key will never, ever get dealt with accordingly, it looks like. Decrease fake-out chance and better conservative tackles. I've never been a fan of this, and I've tried it before. This is kind of... Uh, I just want to make dudes fumble, man. Like, I'm going to be honest. I, like that, That's really what I want to do. But I also want to make sure I can make conservative tackles. What we'll do is, because we tried Tackle Supreme before, and I was getting faked out even more... I think what we're going to do right now is we'll go with Lumberjack um, and add that to him because I'm just trying to increase the amount of fumbles that I can get. So that's pretty much what this is about. And then as far as selfless goes, you know, you need hit stick tackles. Now, what's crazy about this is this says hit stick tackle three, but when I'm in game, it says five. So I don't know what's going on with that. Why is it that that says hit stick tackle for three? Um, and uh, in game, like it says five. I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe that's a bug. I don't know. We gotta figure that. We gotta figure that out. But the hit sticks, we're gonna need to have that popping. But anyway, enforcer. Obviously, if you don't like to, you know, try to use it yourself, click off. CPU is gonna probably hit stick him into another oblivion. The acrobat is gonna give you those diving swats and interceptions. So when they throw low passes, you can pick it. Lurker just makes you be a human being and be able to jump. And then lumberjack is just where it's at. Because I've used this before, but I had to get rid of it because I didn't have enough slots. Now we have it. It's guaranteed tackles, but you also add a fumble chance. So that's very, very good as well. So that's very, very good to know about the 99s, though. That That's that's pretty cool, man. I, I like that. Um, that means Byron Jones would get an additional slot. Not that we're going to upgrade a corner that doesn't have any hit power, but that's actually cool, man. I like that. All right. So that's cool. So we learned something together. Let me know if you knew about it before and you just didn't tell me because you were keeping it a secret and you, you didn't want to share it with the fam. Um, but that, that's cool to know. All right. So that's everything. And then with Pat, uh, Taylor Mays, pretty much the same idea. You need Lurker, you need uh, Acrobat, and then you need Enfor Enforcer. Unfortunately, he can't get four, so it doesn't really matter. And we just leave it like that uh, for now. So those are some of the things that you need to do. I need you guys to go now and please go get that 100k before it expires for this week they will be doing it on a weekly basis i believe until further notice so let me know what you're going to invest with um i'm going to be looking to make some adjustments to my squad now and see what's up so i will get back to you as soon as possible uh with any new updates that we may have and until next time you guys stay safe wash your hands be safe protect your family and yourself i'm gonna see you guys and girls next time one love y'all